Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Trek Starships collection review. I have in front of me issue number 19 from the uh, Star Trek Starships collection shuttle pack number 5. And as you can see, it's one that I've been looking forward to. The uh, Galileo from the Enterprise A, seen in Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. Probably the only time this shuttlecraft type was seen on screen. I know a similar type was seen in Star Trek Generations that uh, rescued and picked up Picard following the death of James T. Kirk and his burial by Picard. And of course, following the crash of the Enterprise D, but it was similar, but not the same, obviously. So yeah, as you can see, I have a mini mag and what looks to be an awesome looking model here. So uh, for all intents and purposes of looking at the magazine, let's get this aside and dive into the mag. Here we are, number 19 of the shuttle so far. We have a nice image of the Galileo on the cover. And as you can see, it says in bold, USS Enterprise NCC-1701A Galileo, considered a transport shuttle 9.1 meters long, active in the 23rd century, and of course, it's assigned to the Enterprise. Turn the page or open the magazine and format is the same. And as I've mentioned in the other two videos on the shuttlecrafts from the set, is that they all sit on their stands versus being mounted in any form. And like the other two magazines, for the shuttles, you get a couple of different profile views of the ship, as well as some brief text down below. Turning the page, we have some more scenes from Star Trek V. Of course, you see the shuttlecraft entering the planet's surface of Nimbus III, crash landing or entering the Enterprise A. Uh, this is the crash landing sequence. And uh, there it is, approaching the Enterprise. And we get some more text, as well as an image of the shuttlecraft within the sights of the Klingon targeting scanners. And there's some text down here as well, but that's pretty much it. And we get a nice Akutogram, which these are always nice to see. And that pretty much concludes the magazine uh, with a nice image of the shuttle on the back there. So not too bad. And now it's time for the gold itself, the model. Well, folks, and here it is, the Galileo. I have to say that this is one of the shuttles in the pack that I was really looking forward to getting, to receiving. Um, why I've always wanted the shuttle since I was a kid. Um, I remember, it's funny, going back to the Micro Machines, I used to use the, the Micro Machines Next Gen shuttle to pretend that it was this one. Uh, they looked similar, although that one was a lot smaller. And uh, I think that was the Shuttlecraft Berman <laughs> uh, from the Micro Machine set. In any case, uh, I'm really happy to have this. Um, it's mostly metal up here and plastic down here. Uh, these little panels represent the lights that we saw actually light up on the show or actually in the movie. Uh, personally, I would like to have seen these blue because I think that's how it was in the in the movie, or like a lighter color, perhaps. Um, no clear plastic on the nacelle, which is okay. Um, I don't think these things can go to warp drive anyway. They're more of an impulse type of thing. Um, and there's the nice, crisp uh, Starfleet pendant and stripes there. You can see it, and it says clearly USS Enterprise Galileo. And we get the registry NCC-1701A with the number five smack right there, just like this tug that I showed you guys last time. It's also on the other side. And yeah, up top, pretty basic, not a lot going on there. The cockpit window is painted black, uh, which is kind of how I wish the Starfleet tug would be, but that's okay. Uh, the back actually has an another number five, and this is the rear door compartment. Uh, you have the registry NCC-1701A and these thrusters engine components there. Now, I would have liked to have seen this be clear plastic, perhaps, um, but that's a minor quibble, quibble considering that they are kind of like grid lined in there. It doesn't look bad. Um, yeah, this is one that I definitely wanted. 
fits in your hand about that. So nice, decent size, at least in comparison to some of the other shuttles from the other sets. Um, oh yeah, and the registry is also there. I just now noticed that, pretty cool. And the five is there on the front. So yeah, this is definitely one to have, I'd say. Um, of course, usually with these shuttlecraft sets, there's usually one or two ships that I really look forward to having out of that set. And then there's always that one that I don't really care about at all. And then there's that one that I kind of half interested in. Um, and I think for, for this set, it would have been the motion picture tram. That's the one that I didn't really care about. But this, the tug, and the next shuttle, the Type 8 from Voyager that I will be sharing with you, are ones that I've uh, really were looking forward to in some form or another. And at the time of this video, there's another shuttle set that was announced, as if I couldn't get over getting this shuttle set um, soon enough. Um, and that one will feature the similar shuttle like this that was seen in Star Trek Generations, for those who are wondering. So yeah, definitely check this out. Um, it's part of the shuttle set number five that you can find on Eagle Moss's website. And uh, I would highly recommend uh, getting these, especially if you love shuttlecraft, if you love these small, smaller craft, and uh, definitely works well with the rest of the collection. And uh, especially if you love Star Trek V, uh, which I love, I still think Star Trek V, um, even Star Trek Insurrection, and perhaps even Star Trek Nemesis uh, all have way more heart and soul than anything that J.J. Abrams did, and definitely way more than anything that Star Trek Discovery has put out thus far. So, uh, so yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. And uh, until next time, guys, catch you on the flip side.